and this is uh, stuck in London for 24 hours with the Fuji X100V. It's Wes, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna to talk about the Fuji X100V and how good it is as a travel camera. Recently I was on a trip to New York, then Italy, but for 24 hours I was stuck in London. And so I'm gonna share some photos, actually my top six photos, and I'm gonna tell you about this camera. Here's a great tip. Make sure in the menu you've checked store focus point by orientation. So in this first photo, there's a man uh, leaning up against the building looking at a cell phone, not that hard to get a picture of people on their cell phone nowadays and I was driving uh, through uh, London in a taxi or an uber and I had the camera up to the window but I saw the man uh, leaning against the building and I knew I had to shift into portrait mode so if I use the menu setting store a focal point by orientation what happens is when I rotate the camera the camera remembers oh you don't want your focal point over here because that's gonna uh, when you rotate into portrait mode, that's gonna put it into another area. I'm gonna remember where you set your focal point to last time you shot uh, portrait mode. All right, here you can see the autofocus point is on this candle here. Uh, coffee flavored candle, cleverly called pothead. So I take the picture like that. But when I rotate, you'll notice the focal point jumps over to the top right of the vertical and so I rotate it back and it's back down here so if you notice when I rotate it instead of it being down here where it is when it's landscape it's up here all right and it remembers it by orientation that's pretty sweet going by this man in the cab pretty fast and so the focal point is already set and I don't have to recalibrate it I don't have to use the joystick I don't have to tap on the screen it's already set and ready to go it's a great tip now here's another tip uh, one of my favorite photos was of these three people and they're uh, leaning on this uh, stairway or a rail and they're looking out at the Thames River and the Sun is going down it's it's a little bit darker in the day um, but I asked them if I could take their photo so one of uh, street photography tip is ask people if you can take their photo so that's another thing besides uh, storing the the focal point by orientation just ask for permission they, it was a cool scene I just asked them could I take their picture Picture. Now, a little bit of criticism. I thought the, the young woman on the right was uh, a little soft. I could have opened the aperture or changed the aperture to like F8 instead of F2 um, and got her a little more in focus. That's my, my criticism. But I will also tell you the light was fading and so I rolled, if uh, you punch this command dial, you can change between shutter speed and ISO. So just looking at the command dial right here, I'm gonna be rolling this. I have my focus locked on the black girl man magic candle and if I roll this I just brighten up the picture or dim it easily uh, with that front command dial now if I punch it you'll notice the half circle goes away over the ISO uh, and it goes to uh, my shutter speed so you just punch it again and you have control over the ISO and so I just rolled the ISO up to brighten up the image and here you have three friends uh, checking out the Tim's uh, and the setting Sun and uh, I just asked them what they were doing and they said we're out for a bit of a wander and uh, so that was really cool and I like that that photo it's one of my uh, my top six from London stuck in London 24 hours okay let's go on to another one we walked everywhere that we could we saw Westminster Abbey we saw uh, the uh, Buckingham Palace and when we got over to the Thames River we cut through this park and you could see the London Eye across the the river and there's a rail a stone rail and uh, we saw just a group of tourists leaning up against it looking over the river again it's a very popular thing to do apparently when I was there uh, another group of people leaning uh, over the the uh, the bricks here or the stone looking at the river however they're all facing away and so you just kind of get this cool outlines of their silhouettes as they're taking in the view so that's one of my favorite photos again a, a, a tool you could use is the the electronic level you could have that toggled on very quick to get the electronic level on you have the the wrench menu go over to screen setup and then you go over to page three all the way down display custom setting EVF go over and you can toggle on uh, electronic level you're gonna check that and now when you come back out you'll have the electronic level tool so if I want to line that up with the letters here I just do that 
there we go. Line that up with the bricks or the stonework. Make sure your picture is absolutely level. So there's three tips, three photos. All right, moving on. There was a cool moment where I saw, um, it looked like a mom and a daughter taking a picture that seemed like they're tourists and the, the daughter runs up these stairs to pose in front of um, a sculpture or a statue honoring somebody from English history ostensibly. And I just love the celebration in the girl's arms as she raises it up. And so um, I recommend walking around without your lens cap on and having your camera switched on and ready to go because that was a moment, I actually got two or three frames of this, but the one where the girl has her arms up, um, I, I captured that. So you just wanna make sure you're always ready to go. Shutter speed uh, is adjusted right here on the front dial and you wanna keep, uh, keep your camera at the ready. So lens cap off, ready to go. Uh, so that is a fourth image and a fourth a street photography tip. Now there's two kind of images I'm gonna share kind of tied. Uh, one was just a, a couple of people in the park and I, I like the color of the backpack and the color of the, um, the bush here or the, the flowers. And that's gonna point out on this trip almost entirely, like 90% of my shots in New York, in London, in Italy, were taken with a film recipe uh, call from Big Negative Film Look. Yes, Big Negative YouTube channel has a, um, a video called I Can't Believe It's Not Film or something like that. So the big negative film look, um, I will put a link to his video. Uh, I use that on everything and it got me this, this rich, warm, a little bit desaturated, but kind of moody. But also when I took some great shots, great portraits of my wife, probably the best shots I've ever taken of my wife. Uh, and that's saying a lot, we've been together 15 years. I took in New York using that recipe, kind of cranked, very overexposed, looking very light and bright. Um, a very versatile film recipe. So I highly recommend that. And that's one of the reasons that this camera did it for me on this trip. It is a great travel camera. And so, so uh, the film recipe also allowed me when I kind of underexpose, you get these moody um, shots and kind of uh, what I think of, of uh, London to be kind of gray and chilly. Like I think I captured that even though the weather was superb there. But here we have dark clouds over this kind of monumental building. And in the foreground, there's people taking selfies. And what's funny is the incredible like sky and the building, they're taking photos that way, the opposite way. So it was probably a cool view that way too. Uh, but that is my fifth favorite uh, photo or fifth or sixth. The other one that is tied is uh, we were in the, I think it was ooh, Hyde Park, is right near Hyde Park. There was a series, um, there was a couple of ducks, a little family of ducks walking across the path and getting in the water. And I just ran to the railing and shot down and I, I just loved the autofocus performance. It captured a great image. But then there were more uh, more ducks in interaction. So there's a picture of kind of three young people and one is offering his vape pin to the duck and one is I think filming it and the other uh, friend is kind of looking like, why do I hang out with these people? So I thought that was a very cool and quirky moment. but the autofocus was great. It was really su superb. So those are a few of my highlights, top six uh, photos taken in London. Um, there are photos of Westminster Abbey and things like that. I'll put those up there. But these really highlighted why this is a great camera. Store your uh, focal point by orientation. Make sure you uh, use your shutter speed and your ISO right here. Um, also, make sure that you, um, you check out the big negative film recipe and uh, check out uh, the other tips that I left in the video and let me, leave me a comment and let me know what you're shooting. If you go on a trip, if you travel, what do you take with you? Look forward to hearing from you in the comments. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. If you like this video, click like and subscribe, leave me a comment and let me know where in the world you're watching from. I'll see you in the next video.